Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Loot from 25,000 Aberrant Spectres. So I figured I'd make this video because I need to do 25,000 kills for a uh, Herblore anyway. That's probably about how much I need to do for 99 if you include the mole kills. So this video is mainly going to be for Iron Men who want to kill Aberrant Spectres so they can see how much Herb XP to expect and what kind of herbs you actually get from killing this many. I'm trying my best to include a lot of useful info at the end of this video. Uh, these will hopefully include Herb XP per Spectre kill, how many Toad Flax seeds you get per kill. Uh, that'll be useful in letting you guys know how much mole you'll actually have to do. Uh, per aberrant specter kill and i will also be showing you guys how many supplies you use such as darts solar scales and stuff like that so it'll basically let you guys figure out uh, all the supplies you need and everything you're going to get if you want to do a specific amount of kills like say you want to do 5,000, uh, you'll be able to figure out everything you need so as for what i'm going to be using the inventory is going to look like this i'm going to be using three range pots 12 super restores obviously you can use prayer pots I uh, have my herb sack, the holy wrench, and the ring of dueling. I'm going to be using this to restore my stats through clan wars. As for the inventory setup, what I'm going to be using is a slayer helm, salve amulet, EI, raging cape, blowpipe, uh, black dehad body. Uh, you could probably get some better boots than this. You could also use a different ring if you want to, and barrels gloves. So a lot of you guys probably actually do have god dehyde, so that'll help you a lot with prayer. But sadly, I don't do clues, so this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and kill 25k of these. Just wanted to show you guys everything I'm using. Another thing I forgot to mention really quick is I'm going to be praying Protect from Magic and using Eagle Eye the entire time. The reason I'm doing this is because you actually get more Rainar Weeds than you use Prayer Pots, so you don't really have to worry much about that. And I'm also going to be repotting every time my uh, stat goes down by 4. So uh, once I use my Ranging Pot, I'll go up to 112, and I will be repotting every time it hits 108. So I'll see you guys probably in around 2 weeks once I finish killing 25,000 Aberrant Spectres. So finally finished killing 25k specs. This is everything I got. Just show you guys on the Slayer log really quickly. So I started with 366 kills, so this is 25k. Another thing I did forget to mention at the start of this video was I'm not going to be recording the Alks I get. It's mainly for the herbs. The main reason being I am on the Lunars the entire time to do herb runs every hour, 20 minutes. So I didn't want to have to pick up the Lava Battle Staffs and stuff like that. But I did actually pick up the Road Bottoms. I guess I could show those to you guys really quick. Uh, 45 of them. But uh, yeah, this is the main reason I wanted to do this was for the herbs. So before I start going through these, I wanted to mention one more thing really quickly. You'll notice right here that I do have 3,800 Toad Flex. Uh, Aberrant Spectres don't drop Toad Flex. I farmed all of these from the Toad Flex you'll see right next to them. So everything in here came as their own drops except for these, which I did farm. If you guys want to figure out how many Toad Flex you'd have normally without these farming... Just uh, basically take this and divide it by 8 and add it to this. So I'm just going to price check this really quick, even though it's not really the point of this for you guys that are wondering... So 55 mil, a pretty decent amount, but I did use a lot of Zolar skills and stuff, so I probably ended up losing money if you try to do this on a main. So I ended up with 4,600 Marantil, which are going to be really nice for prayer. I'm not going to be including these in any calcs I do, since, as I said, they're going to be used for the burners and not for Herb XP. 3,700 Taramans, 2,800 Harlanders. This is my favorite one right here, 2,200 Raynars. Uh, I did start using the Super Restores just so I could keep all these here for you guys. I didn't want to have to do things like with the Toad Flax, where it's uh, not what you actually would have gotten. 1,600 Irits, 1,200 Aventos, 1,000 Quorums, 866 Cadentines, 608 Dwarf Weed, 603 Lantidime, and of course you have all the Toad Flax. Uh, here's the Toad Flax Seeds, Irit Seeds, Avento Seeds, Quorum Seeds, Snapdragon Seeds, Cadentines, Lantidimes, Dwarf Weed, and Torstals. So this is all that I ended up getting from 25k kills. Um, I'm actually going to show something on screen right now, too, so you guys can get an idea of some calcs and stuff. Um, I hope these calcs are useful for you guys. It's the whole reason of doing this video. So I think I'll just be adding this on screen um, so you guys can still see all the herbs and stuff. But uh, from 25k kills, I ended up getting 4.1 mil herb XP. Now, the way I calc this with the seeds I have is I assumed you get 8 herbs per seed. And the reason I did that is because if you have a farming cape, so this is based off 99 farming. Uh, with the farming cape, you have a chance of getting more yield, basically. So it's basically based off that. I did a test run of like 200 seeds and checked how many I was getting on average, and it was about 8, so that's the reason I'm using it. Uh, it's been the same for a lot of other people, too, so this should be pretty accurate. So using 8 herbs per seed, it's going to be around 164.4 herb XP per, per aberrant specter kill. So if you guys want to say, uh, you know, you have like 3 mil XP left until 99, and you want to kill some uh, specs, this will give you kind of an idea on how many you need to do. 
Um, of course, you will get more XP from doing mole as well. So you can't really calculate that all the way, but it gives you a good idea. So this is just going to be a bunch of other useful numbers I thought you guys would find helpful. So I know there's going to be a lot of decimal places on here. It may look a little confusing. Uh, the reason I left it as so many decimals is because if you do a lot of kills, you're going to want it to be as accurate as possible. So the amount of toe flex seeds per kill you get is a weird number. You're basically just going to be using that to calculate everything else, such as the Amount of toe flex seeds you get per hour, which is about 8.87. Uh, this is assuming you do 290 kills per hour, which with eagle eye and 99 range and a blowpipe is around what you should be getting. I was getting around 280 to 300. So now comes something I hope will be really useful to you guys, which is how many aberrant spectres you have to kill uh, and the ratio between how many mole kills you have to get. So it looks like a really weird number, but uh, if you guys you know plug it in like you'll see in the example, it's a lot easier to understand. So the reason you have to kill mole for you guys that don't know is the aberrant specters drop a ton of toad flax and the best way to get nests is from doing mole. Uh, you get three nests per kill. So if you want to find out how many mole you have to do, say you want to kill 5,000 aberrant specters, you basically just plug it into what I put on screen right there and it'll tell you how many mole kills you then have to do. So I can't remember what mine is from 25,000. Um, I could probably plug it in and check right now, but I'm just going to guess. I think it was around 2300 or something like that. So just letting you guys know what to expect if you want to go ahead and kill aberrant specters. If you guys want to pause this and look at it or anything, um, go ahead and do that. But there's one more thing I do want to show you, so I'm going to move on to that really quick. So before I actually talk about this, I wanted to mention one more thing. All these calcs and everything you guys are seeing, um, they become a lot more accurate the more kills you do. So if you guys want to do like 500 kills or like even maybe under 5,000, they're not going to be as accurate uh, compared to if you do a lot more kills. So don't expect to these to be like completely perfect like if you want to kill like 500 or something. So if I'm doing these 25,000 kills, it was around 2.4 steel darts per kill, 5.57 solar scales per kill, and the prayer pot one, I'm not too sure how accurate that is. I had kind of some screwy stuff with three doses and stuff like that, but it should be pretty close. Um, that one actually will be accurate um, no matter how many kills you do, I believe. You guys can go ahead and test it yourself, but it should be pretty close to that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and you get something useful out of it. Once again, this was mainly for Iron Man. I don't know how useful this will be towards mains. So you guys will see a lot of this in my Iron Man series video. Uh, I think I do three more updates or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like. This took a pretty decent amount of time to make and I'd appreciate it if you guys did enjoy it. So I'll see you guys probably in another four to five days with another Iron Man video. I haven't had a lot of time to do uh, a lot of content on that because I've just been grinding specs. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.